What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin' in the building. You know what time it is. So, I'm gonna get right into today's video. I'm making a major upgrade. I think I'm pretty much gonna be the first person to ever do this in a prelude. So, stay tuned. So, for those of you who have been with the channel, you guys know that I got an AP1 uh, custom S2K cluster. I have a color kit to match the OEM green color. Um, it's a great unit, honestly, I love it. But when I seen the ID4 Labs digital conversion, I was like, man, I gotta have it. So today we're basically gonna be replacing the AP1 cluster with the all digital um, ID4 motions uh, S2000 cluster. So there's a couple videos out there um, on this unit and they're all S2000 videos, which is seems normal. Cause I mean, it is meant for the S2000. Um, in my case, um, I have a basically plug and play harness um, that attaches to my OEM connectors and basically converts it to the S2000. Um, now a couple things to note um if you guys are interested in something like this i'm not gonna lie it is a very expensive mod very expensive because you gotta pay for the conversion which uh t for the conversion harness uh reach out to hector prelude on facebook tell him i sent you um there's a, actually there's even a group by page for the s2k cluster swap um on facebook i'll put that in the link in the description but if you want to reach out to hector directly tell him i sent you I was going to do an uh, um an unboxing but i'm just going to get right into it when you order one of these you're going to get the the cluster itself the all digital cluster it comes with this uh conversion box which basically replaces um where all the connectors will go on the actual s2000 cluster now if you have an s2000 this is plug and play for those of you guys who have uh s2k clusters in your preludes or in your civics or in your cords or whatever if you have an s2k cluster swap um, i'm going to show you guys basically how to make this work because it for it's like plug and play halfway but there's some things you got to do to to actually make it work so i'm just going to kind of walk you guys through what i had to do to make it work so when you open the box, um, like I said, you're gonna get the cluster itself. You're gonna get the harness that goes from the cluster to the conversion box. You're going to also get uh, another cord that is going to uh, go to this kind of controller, the ID4 Motions controller. This has a harness of its own that also plugs in to uh, the back of the cluster. And um, that's kind of what more or less comes in the uh, in the packaging. Um, kind of the first step you want to do, you kind of get right into it, is you just basically go ahead and plug all this stuff in. This is stuff that normally would go in the back of the S2K cluster. Uh, so you have uh, four connections that would normally go into the S2K cluster. Uh, so like I said, this conversion box, literally plug and play. And then you'll see that there's one more connector piece uh, available. And that's the one that runs from the back of the uh, cluster to the conversion box. Go ahead and plug that in. Turn it around, baby. That's That part's pretty simple. It's, it's not rocket science to that. Just plug where the plugs go. <laughs> really, pretty much as simple as that. Now I just wanna show you guys when I power it on, what it looks like. That S2000, baby. All right, so there you go. So um, the ID4 Motions uh, cluster has like i mean unlimited options you can choose between the ap1 the ap2 there's a second ap2 cluster and you can choose and switch between different color themes um different layouts stuff like that you can go in and choose you know how you want your 
gauges to be set up, custom gauges, fuel, obviously, tent, the normal stuff. Uh, let me see. Everything works. Open the door, the door light, close the door, that works. Turn on the lights, daytime running lights, my headlights, and then the brights. It all works. So, <clears throat> this is kind of where I ran into issues. Um, I thought it was just going to be plug and play. And I actually do have uh, a Honda S300 V3. And for you guys who are looking into doing this mod that, that don't have a uh, S2000, that you have your cluster in a Civic or a Prelude or an Accord or something other than an S2000. Um, the S300 is going to be needed to make this work. Now, when you purchase one of these, they have three versions. They have a basic, standard, and premium. Um, you, unfortunately, you do have to get the st the upgrade to the standard in order to get ECU support because I think it's in how they wire the harness. Because what they'll do is they'll actually give you two wires that come off of this. Now, this is where I got stuck. I was basically looking for this for like a week. I emailed these guys and I don't know. They were pretty good at responding at first and then I just, I don't know. I haven't gotten a response. Started doing some research and basically literally because of this other guy who did it on his S2000. It's kind of how I started figuring this out. These two wires are canvas wires. Now, I can, I'm not going to go into detail on what canvas is, but basically, it's basically a way for the ECU to communicate with uh, other stuff in the car like gauges and clusters and stuff like that um, now on the s300 let me give you guys a close-up so there's like two sets of pins you can see where that connector is where there's like eight wires coming out that goes to like your analog outputs um, use that for like fuel oil pressure things like that now if you look up top you see another set of pins um, those are digital outputs um, I can't remember exactly all it's used for, but on the last two pins to the far right, those are the canvas high and canvas low pins. So you actually have to, you can get another connector like this, but just for the sake of me trying to make it work, I kind of kind of made my own little two pin connector. Um, but you have to connect that um, to the ECU. And this is where it gets a little tricky. For whatever reason, the canvas wire does have to be, for the S300, you have to solder the um, 120 ohm resistor between the two wires, and then they have to be twisted. I don't know the technical or science behind it, but that's just what you have to do. Um, now on, on the cluster itself, uh, the green was the canvas high, and the yellow was the canvas low. So basically, I basically wired those accordingly. Um, and one kind of final step that kind of had me stuck was you do actually have to go into um, S Manager and open up the laptop. And I'm gonna show you guys what I did to make this work. Cause even if you connect those wires, there's still one more step that you have to do to make this work. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So there's actually like a little help section. Um, if you go to the help section in the, in the S Manager, there's actually um, a can output section and it pulls up and it kind of tells you. So what I was telling you is the S300 doesn't have the can terminator resistor, which is that 120 ohm that I added between the, the cam uh, high and the cam low. Um, that's why I did that because I guess in some applications or ECUs, it does have a cam termination resistor, but this doesn't. Um, for me, I kind of just followed this guideline. You're gonna want to load up your tune, um, and then once you load up your tune, you want to go to parameters, and parameters will pull up um, all of these options right here. And then you actually want to click digital input and output. Once you do that, um, you're gonna want to go down to where can output is and you want to do Honda data protocol 250 kilobytes per second and this is set to 100 hertz automatically you have to um turn this on because normally this will be off it'll look like this 
it'll say disabled. So if this is disabled, it's not gonna work. So like I said, again, uh, do that. Honda data protocol, 250 kilobytes per second. And then just wanna make sure you got your, your uh, ECU connected. And then basically just um, upload that change and then you'll be set. was a problem I'm still working on my album predict the outcome showing just like a falcon pimping since been pimping hoes all way out south and moonwalking in my socks screaming fuck the cops they trench up my old block yo search for gallons of the PCP pocket beats and we bouncing straight to some CCP Argentina flexing hard John Cena freaky Tina looks so right up in that white beamer 50,000 hours in a hole thanks to my lawyer I'm back and now I'm on a stroll moonwalking in my side So yeah, since I've um, since I've put the cluster in here, I actually uh, kind of came up with my own idea as far as like a kind of bezel for the cluster. And uh, I actually got this prefab one. This one is originally supposed to go to a, a cord that can fit an S2K cluster. And I kind of took that and modded it and trimmed it. And it's not, you know, it's not perfect but i think it makes it look a lot cleaner and until until i get something custom custom made like from scratch um it's as good as it's gonna get but considering i like the way this turned out came out really clean and um i do want to show you guys something real quick i'm working on a custom backsplash screen instead of the s2000 but man, the cluster, I couldn't be any happier with it, man. It looks super sick when you're driving at night, daytime, it illuminates bright. Um, it's just, I have no complaints, man. I mean, honestly, there's a few more things I do have to take care of, like, um, because the S2000, which is what this is meant for, even the digital version, was OBD2. A couple of things are different. So like the seat belt light kind of works in reverse. My oil light kind of flashes. Um, so I have to basically uh, rewire that so that it's reading the signal the right way. And then I have the airbag light um, stays on, which you know is infamous in the prelude. So I have to pretty much rewire this stuff or run a relay or something to reverse it. And of course the the brake and the ABS light stays on, which it's not a big deal to me. The oil light does blink while I'm driving. Obviously I have an oil pressure gauge and I know I have oil pressure, so I'm not too worried about it, but that's really the only thing that bothers me along with the uh, seat belt light. But outside of that, man, I literally have no complaints, man. This this was worth every penny to me. So, um, and then, you know, along with having, uh, the digital cluster i mean it comes with this its perks man like i got different color themes chroma orange what is that emola orange cool white uh what is this formula red one of my favorites it's apex blue is is crazy bro i love it um and chroma chroma green is the closest green that i could get um, to the OEM green, it's, it's it's a tad off, but it's close enough to make me happy. 
the only thing that i would change is kind of like the whole cluster is green i would like the mile per hour to be white along with the rpm numbers to be white um that would be probably the only thing i would change if i could like fully customize my own color theme but um let me see what else we got we got you can actually change the layout from an ap1 to an ap2 or an ap2 cr so i can literally change it ap2 ap2 cr is pretty much the same changes the gauges the gas and the uh hot and cold on the temperature but personally i'm an ap1 fan so that's what i'm gonna be running but yeah man i, I gotta be honest with you man I, I can't i'm really happy with the way this turned out um of course there's some stuff off camera that you know you didn't get to see i did create some brackets for it but kind of more or less showing you guys you know I, I, I can't leave you guys out the loop so that being said man hey so there you have it man i hope you guys liked the video as much as uh i liked making it and showing you guys this new mod very sick super sick um so give it a thumbs up man hit that like button comment below and let me know um if you like the cluster and what would you run ap2 what color theme um and if you're new hit that that's the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one ba -ba -ba -ba